I'm Mark Brailsford. I'm the Senior Protection Coordinator with UNRWA. With regards to the, the types of um, the conditions or the situation that uh, Palestinian kids uh, are facing today, today in the West Bank, obviously it is still uh, a very stressed one. We see a lot of serious issues that uh, continue to, to affect the, the population. These range from uh, house demolitions. We've seen a big increase in house demolitions this year compared to uh, the previous year. Um, forced evictions, um, the use of uh, incursions inside refugee camps where IDF, Israeli Defense Forces, will go in and uh, conduct search operations sometimes uh, accompanied with the use of, uh, of force or, or violence and destruction of, uh, of property or damage to property. UNRWA addresses a lot of these issues throughout through our programs, providing support to, to communities, be it through our health program, education or relief and social services. But often the, the kids as well need, need particular attention. They need to be able to find avenues where they can, uh, can focus their energies and their frustrations and their tensions in a, in a, in a productive way, in a positive way. And uh, certainly what we've seen with the, with the capoeira is that uh, that's exactly what they're, they're able to do. I know that last time it was a, I participated in, a, in a boys, uh, one of the boys' classes in Jalazon camp, which is one of the camps that has, has been quite badly affected by, by violence. There's a settlement right next to, to the camp. And uh, last year there were some incidents where, where children actually got, got shot from the, from the guard posts uh, located next to the settlement. So very tense situation in that camp. And I, I recall that there were, some of the boys were, were commenting that uh, the capoeira has really uh, taught them the, uh, the self-control and the discipline uh, and, the, and the, 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 um, the courage really needed to, to, come to, to, to face the day-to-day -day situation that they, they have in, in the camp. The capoeira, I, re I recall one of, the, one of the students was saying, has, has helped them to develop a, uh, a focus which has also helped him to apply himself in other parts of his schoolwork as well. It's a valve. When you, when you, know, when you have a pressure cooker that is always being applied with more and more heat, eventually it'll, it'll burst and you'll get kids going out and doing things that might get them into trouble. If you have a valve which allows them to let off steam, let off energy, but in a very positive way, I think that has an immediate effect, definitely, and has a protect, it's, a, it's a protective effect. It was great to, to sweat and use a lot of energy, and I, I also forgot where, you know, all the troubles, everybody has troubles, <laughs> I also could just concentrate on the, on the capoeira, doing the right moves and uh, trying to do it as good as I, I could do. And uh, yeah, it was, it was great to be part of that. We're very happy to uh, work with Bidna Capoeira. You guys are doing a wonderful job and we're looking forward to continuing to work with you into the, into the future as well.